Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, please, and like this video. Yep, definitely do that because I know you will, you already love this video because Robbie's in it. Yeah, we're here. Which is like always the reason why you want to like a video or you know subscribe to us. He's so handsome. Anyway, on to the review. What's going on? This is Brandon with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today, what shoe are we talking about? The Asics Gel Cumulus 24. So this is a Gel Cumulus 24, which mm -hmm. is uh, Asics more budget friendly, like reliable daily trainer. Yeah, Cumulus, yeah. clouds, like kind of like Hoka and On. I think On's mad at Asics because they stole like the cloud names. Like, Wait, seriously? That's actually kind of funny. I don't know. I think they're they're beefing right now. Yeah, maybe. Mm. I don't think anybody knows, but we just made that up. Oh no, Please. we're telling you industry secrets right now. We we're on the inside. We know. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, everything's an inside job. The run industry <laughs> is responsible for Epstein. Yeah, I just want to let you know that the black market is completely mechanized by the running world. Yeah, thanks. Illuminati. They were all runners. If you've listened to any of our other Asics reviews in the past, this is not going to sound very different yeah. from any of the other shoes so, we've talked about. I mean, we can go through the upper and everything and then we'll get on to the performance. So the upper here is like an engineered mesh upper, mm -hmm. real padded tongue, uh, lots of cushion around the, the collar here. Yep. I mean, it's a super comfortable upper. It's funny because I went on a run yesterday and my legs were feeling like garbage. It was Sunday and I'd done my Saturday long run. It was kind of like a workout day and I was like, Wow, if there was any shoe that I could have put on today, this was the right shoe because I was just hobbling along and it was just really nice on those easy days. It's a dual density midsole. We have a uh, flight foam and a the heel. There's a layer that wraps around mm -hmm. right to here and here. It kind of blends with the paint, so it's hard to see it separates from the next part, which is the flight, flight foam. It's actually blast. easier to tell on this side because the paint separates better. Yeah. So if you can tell that blue layer right there, that's that flight foam layer that we're talking about. Right, and so flight foam's a little more denser, not as quite as bouncy, cushiony as the flight foam blast. The midsole is made up of flight foam blast, like we said, not to be mistaken with flight foam blast plus which is their newer compound that they've just come out with. It's and that's featured and debuted in the Nimbus 24. Exactly. And so it is a diff bit different of a feel. I mean, we can talk about the ride of it, I guess, at this point. Yeah, so. we should talk about it a little bit. Robbie, what were your thoughts, kind of like differences or what, how would you compare Flight Foam Blast to Flight Foam Blast Plus? The Blast is, uh, not quite as bouncy as the Blast Plus, as you would expect. This is their more higher end or top tier foam okay. in, in the Nimbus. But overall, it does provide a soft, pretty comfortable ride. It's still incredibly well cushioned. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a daily trainer that is, you can really just get a ton of comfortable miles in for pretty much mm -hmm. ever. You know, they weigh the exact same pretty much, which is, uh, for for your size eight and a half, mm -hmm. it was 9.8 ounces, uh, 278 grams. I do feel like you can pick this up or it transitions more, a little bit faster if you want that. Yeah, I mean, I think like bouncier is probably the right word, a little bit more responsive. And that's kind of what you're gonna get, get with that Flight Foam Blast Plus. Yeah, in the Nimbus here. Mm -hmm. What about the drop, Robbie? Yeah, so the drop and stack height on the Cumulus is uh, 24, 16, 24 millimeters in the heel, 16 to four foot. And that's kind of up since last year? Uh, yeah, so the stack height's okay. more, so it's an eight millimeter drop. Uh, last, so last year's version was 23 in the heel and 13 in the forefoot. I, I feel that that was definitely evident because I think last year that was one of the issues I had with the uh, Cumulus 23 was that it didn't feel like that well cushioned, especially in the forefoot. And I don't know, I didn't love it. This, you definitely feel a lot more cushion. And I will say that, that this, the cushion in the forefoot is what was the difference maker between the Cumulus and the Nimbus for me. Got it, okay, uh, interesting. Now, I like the more firmer feel in the forefoot of the Nimbus. This is, by the way, a more firmer feel. This is, I feel like, softer. Uh, okay, a little bit more plush. Yeah, more plush ride overall. Got it. Now, the, the outsole, we got a Asics light in the forefoot area. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit of a, maybe not as dense rubber, um, a little bit softer. And then in the heel area, you have the AHAR 
Plus, which is kind of like their durable rubber. Which is something that we've seen in a lot of ASIC shoes in the past, so nothing really new there. How many miles in terms of, you know, now that we're kind of talking a little bit about outsole and durability and traction, mm -hmm. how many miles do you think you can get out of a shoe like this, Rob? I mean, this is one of those that will last you 400, 500, 600. Okay, <laughs> and what's the price of the shoe? So this is $130. Okay, so we're talking, we can get around four to 500 miles in a shoe and only spend $130? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like in ASICs, this is their almost like budget daily trainer. This falls in the same uh, realm as like the Nike Pegasus. This is coming in $130, which is still $30 cheaper than the Nimbus. Mm -hmm. So I would say for somebody who wants a very Nimbus-like feel, uh, but doesn't want to spend the extra 30 bucks, then this would be a great option. Uh, here's the thing, I think whatever shoe you pick, they're both winners, right? And it's just yeah. kind of more, uh, I think it's a preference thing more than anything, but I think both these shoes are great. So Robbie, what light is this getting? Is this getting the red, the green, the yellow? Uh, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a green. Yeah. Huh. You have a green light. I will put that as far as a green in the realm that it is. It's not the most exciting shoe ever. No, I wouldn't say that it's super exciting, but it's gonna, get the job done. It's just a workhorse shoe and you're gonna love it when it's on your foot because of how comfortable it is. I don't love the design of the shoe and the look, but I think that's more to do with just the colorway itself. Yeah. Had I gotten a different colorway, I might have said something otherwise. I actually agree with you. I, <laughs> like, I don't love the color at all. I hate the like yeah. gradient designs and whatnot. Mm. Um, yeah. It just, I don't know. I so ASICs, like if you wanna like, yeah, you wanna get your color people on the phone and you wanna phone us up, we'll we'll design your next uh, Cumulus for I you. mean, the light show version of the Nimbus is sick. I love this. That's a big, bright and bold shoe, yeah. man. I don't know where else I could wear that other than just going out running. Though. I'm usually not a ne <laughs> I'm usually not a neon guy, but I feel like if you just go all out on it, it it's, it's kind of cool because like it. it feels a little special edition. This shoe does come out, I believe, May 1st, but they will have it for sale this weekend at Boston at their, uh, what they call their dojo, which is the ASICS Uplift House. Okay. Uh, the address there is 299 Newbury Street. And so why should they know that address, They should Robbie? definitely know that address because we'll also be doing a bagel run from that shop on mm -hmm. Sunday. Yeah, we're doing a, uh, is it a shake down? A shake, yeah, out shake out run. run. Yeah, shake yeah, out shake run. Down. We're shaking shake you down, down for everything. We're shaking you down. For every, all your money as soon as you get in the door. <laughs> yeah. So that shakeout run is at 8.30 a.m. Uh, again at 299 mm -hmm. Newbury Street. Um, yeah. That's like all that information is on your screen. We'll put it in yeah. the description mm -hmm. here. And Megan Featherston will be there as well. And also you can come get a free bagel. Like that's pretty cool. Bagel and you get coffee. to hang out. With... I think they're doing gear giveaways. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure they are. And you'll also be able to preview a lot of the other shoes that are coming out, including the Evo Ride 3, the Glide Ride 3, and the Noosa Tri 14. Yep, so you can absolutely. actually try them on demo them. Ooh, if you want. and these are new shoes that haven't come to market yet? Yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. None of them. So you'll get first sneak peek look at all new ASICs gear that's and coming out. I guess you can buy stuff there. So you this they said this will be okay. on sale, and this is before I think it comes out May 1st. Oh, wow. So like, you'll get an exclusive yeah. look at this shoe. Uh, but anyways, so, there's also going to be some ASICs pro athletes there as well. So you're definitely not going to want to miss out on yeah. the fun. By the way, don't forget to follow us on all our social channels, Instagram. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, uh, follow us on Strava, right? Yeah. yeah. The Drop Podcast, we got two of those. Yeah. Go for the soul and the drop. Links are in the description for everything. So, yeah. No, oh, 100%. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I already made the 24 at Kobe jokes and... But did you make any not cumulus jokes? jokes? I references. Did... No, I did it for... <laughs> oh no. Sorry. I already did the Kobe... <laughs> Went up for the guy. <laughs> Let's start that over.